Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends series, The Blob. Let's get into it! Let's begin with a look at the packaging. And here we have on the top, X-Men 60 Years. Although it didn't say X-Men, but you know it is because of the X. On the front, Marvel's The Blob, Marvel Legends series. A nice digital render that we've been seeing for a while of The Blob. And then some comic artwork behind him. Four and up, assortment number. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. X-Men. Plastic free packaging. Except tape and glue. Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, power print. Legalese print made in China print. Symbols I'm not going to learn. A barcode. Another plastic free packaging reminder. Except tape and glue. Whatever that is. Includes one figure and three accessories. Is it food? Marvel Legends series. And again, nice digital render of Frederick Dukes. And then on this side, some comic art of the blob. Marvel Legends series at the bottom there. And on the back, Marvel Legends series, Marvel's the blob again. Nice digital renders. Does tell you he is 8 and 8.34 inches or 21.2 centimeters. I'm not sure what that is. Attention! Don't stick things in your French pie hole. Warning, attention, not cone. Don't stick things in any other language pie hole either. Because that's bad. Don't give it to babies. That is also bad. Recycled marble print. Hasbro print and whatever that small stuff is. That, my friends, is a look at this big old package. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And we'll start off with the accessories. No handy dandy tweezers needed because they're so big. But here we have one of his alternate hands on an in and out hinge. Nice molded details, nice paint amps, and I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but you can. there's lots of little splotches on the backs of his hands. And the same holds true for this one, which is a fist in and out hinge, nice paint amps or overlay or well, not overlay. Overspray. <laughs> Probably more of a tampo. But again, nice molded detail in and out hinge and the painted spots. So, that's pretty cool. Here's the alternate head, and I will use the handy dandy tweezers on this one. It's the screaming head. He's got some freckles going on. Nice molded detail. He's got his pie hole all opened up, ready to eat some stuff. Actually, he's just screaming because Wolverine just stabbed him in the butt with his claws. I would say it looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at the figure. Boop. And again, nice head sculpt. But you can see it's two different haircuts going on. On 
this guy on the heads at least. So here's that. This face still has the freckles or splotches, whatever you want to call them. Nice molded detail. Where did that come from? And moving down, he is quite blobby. And as you can see, the splotch paint effect, you know, it it covers the figure it's all over even on the back side so very nice looking I don't want to say the body is probably molded in this color and then these look like the paint apps a little bit of slop but not too bad and again I think this is the paint app paint app here and on I'm not sure how this part works I think it's all molded in the flesh tone and then this and this is paint but I, I could be mistaken but overall I think he looks pretty good very classic looking blob in my opinion not like super classic but maybe like 80s classic Take a look at his articulation and his head. He can look up that high. He can look down that low. And he doesn't he doesn't really chicken neck. And he's got some waggle in there. And if you try to do the full exorcist, the head pops off, but as you can see it's in a half dumbbell. No, no exorcist for the blob. At the shoulder, comes out to approximately 90 degrees. Does have a 360 degree rotation there. Pinless hinge and swivel at the elbow. Swivels around a full 360 degrees. and gives you approximately a 90 degree bend. 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge and the other side in and out hinge as well. Now there's a cut where the chest and the abdomen meet and you can tilt and tilt, tilt back that far tilt forward that far and it does give him a 360 degree rotation there and nothing at the waist and I can understand that with this figure at the hips he can give you that much of the splits Kicks forward, not quite 90 degrees. Backwards, maybe a half a step. Cut here at the thigh. 360 degree rotation there. Hinge and swivel again at, well I said it's hinge and swivel. It's not, it's just a single pinless hinge. No swivel in there. I guess all the swivels up here. Slightly less than 90 degree bend at the knee. And let's see. No boot cut at the ankle. He's been difficult, my friends. At the ankle tilts down that far. Goodness. Tilts up that far. And forward facing pin for Rocker. And that, my friends, is a look at the blob 
and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the Marvel Legends series blob with the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Toad, Marvel Legends Pyro from the Pyro and Rogue 2-pack, and the X-Men retro-carded Marvel Legends Avalanche. For our final set of comparisons, here we have in the back row the Marvel Legends series Blob with a 7-inch scale comparison from the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, the 40th anniversary He-Man. Then in the front row we have the final Marvel Legends comparison making his cameo appearance Stan the Man Lee. From G.I. Joe Classified series we have the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander and from Star Wars The Black Series, we have the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends series, The Blob, I have to say, I, I do think this is an improvement over at least what I've seen of the Hasbro Build-A-Figure Blob from a while back a good while back and I, I don't own that figure but I have seen pictures of it this one looks tons better to me this is the really the classic look for the blob I like the paint apps on this guy especially like the splotching I think that I think they did a really good job on that now I know there's some I don't want to say controversy over the price that you know this guy is really expensive and this is all I get but he really is a large figure as he should be of course and this guy's probably I, I would have to say a hundred percent new sculpt I, I don't see any reuse on this guy anywhere and I don't really see much possibility for reuse on this guy possibly the gangster the slug but that guy was much much bigger than this he, he was more like Jabba the Hutt times 10 so I, I really don't see much in the way of reuse for this guy or this mold uh, I could be wrong there, there may be some uh, figures that this mold would be good for that I'm just not thinking of the character at, at this time but again you know I, I think it's a really good figure would have liked maybe some more hands or something to go with it or maybe another different head yeah, that would have been nice for the price point. That does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further. Or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.